90% of you are actually applying to jobs on people per hour the wrong way. Most of you are actually spending so much time on the platform and not finding the right jobs to apply to. In this video, you learn how you can easily find the right jobs to apply to without wasting much of your time and a lot of effort on the platform. Welcome to Actionable User, where we make videos and share knowledge on freelancing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get started with this video. So currently I'm on the dashboard. You can see over here we have these tabs. Yeah, this tab shows the different industries that you can be involved in. So we are going to search for a job. You can select one of these, but we'll use the search over here. From this search, there are a couple of options like one, search for offers, search for freelancers if you want to hire people. But today we shall be searching for projects over here. So let's search for projects. After clicking on there, there are freelance jobs found 1853 to be exact all these 1853 are covering all of this so let's narrow down our search over here i'm looking for jobs for writers so let me write my query here so this is article and blog writing then i'm going to search here we have narrowed down from that to 198 so all of this this is the title of the task and the time it was posted whether it is remote physical or hybrid we can see the number of proposals which have been sent and this one actually allows you to save it to your favorites here in the right side you can see the price per hour then you can send a proposal over here so that's exactly what we're going to do today but now instead of doing that we need to be efficient with how we send proposals so that we may not waste our time applying for jobs which we are most likely not going to get. In our query here we can narrow down so as to reduce this number to find more relevant jobs. We can do that by filtering. We can filter based on experience, location, project type, all this. And also we can sort. So we can sort by relevance on default but you can narrow down and sort by time that is to find the latest you can also search by budget if you want let's say for a given price let's say you want to bid on the high paying projects you can do that today we are going to search by latest these written opportunities these ones have been paid for so that they may be on top let's go through them then read them then i'll show you how to apply for one now this one is more like what we are looking for this is copy copy or content finisher this one may look okay and you can go on looking for others if you want to get more more narrowed down searches you can use things like quotation marks i've introduced some quotations over here so let me search again you'll see this number will drop let me remove these ones let me search again this number will drop now yeah it has dropped to 136 you can see write a book translating this one looks like something that I can apply to blog posts it matches with my query over here so what I'm going to do uh, I need to know more about this but I can actually open here yeah there is another one here article writer to write 4000 words of content this looks like something I will write about and also this one I need an adult content writer so to know more I can go through all of this while saving them in the favorites so that I can apply them later I can do that this one also looks amazing yeah, then SEO, copywriter, this one also looks amazing. Yeah, then I can go and open them if I want in other tabs. So this lady, Jenny G, has this project, which is writing blog posts. She posted it two days ago. Currently, 64 people have applied. And you can see these are some of the people who have already sent in their proposal with them and you can see the description whereby the level of experience is entry 
then more details about this work here you can now paste in your proposal and you can attach files over here something like your samples or other works then here you are going to post the amount of money that you like to be paid we'll go through that here at the right side you can see when this job post ends then you can see that it's fixed price and it's in pounds which is twelve dollars over here then you can read more on the person who is hiring for example how many freelancers he or she has worked with the number of projects completed the last project she gave was on this date she's located in italy and you can see other related information about her so to apply you need to first of all read all this and understand it so i've actually created another video whereby i show you how to create proposals which you can check it's linked in the description box below for today i've already created a proposal for this job which i'm going to copy and paste in this space then i'm going to fill these other ones and show you how it's done so let me copy my proposal and paste it over here then we continue i'll copy all of this i'm going to paste it here after pasting it in here i'll now come and focus more on this proposal breakdown whereby i can enter the description i have told her i will write her blog posts then the amount of money over here she was offering 10 pounds that is 12 dollars i can counter her offer and ask for 20 pounds over here people per hour will actually do the calculations and tell us that i'll earn 16 dollars from the 20 dollars jenny g over here actually needs to deposit 20 dollars before the work begins you need to understand that people per hour will actually take a cut that is the four pounds over here let's go down here you can see that there's a send button and there is a send and feature so you can pay for your application to be on top before you press send then there is a check mark which you can place here asking to be notified if the project is awarded to someone else so we are going to check i can send press here to send and also i can feature it so i can pay more to feature it. to send a given proposal i need to have credits over here currently i'm remaining with 15 proposal credits you can buy more here if you there's a clarification board over here so if you don't understand if anything at all here is ambiguous and not easily understood you can come here down and seek for further clarification a user over here is asking for the word count you can press here you have written to them to increase the compensation then i'll confirm over here then i'll send my clarification or question clarification messages was successfully sent there yeah, there is this success notification then i can now come and press send over here yeah so now i'll click on notify me when the project is awarded to someone else then i'm going to click on send over here if the project is awarded to you you'll get a notification over here and if it's awarded to someone else you'll also get a notification over there also people per hour sends people emails so you'll get also an email alert if this offer is awarded to you you've seen it guys that is how you can easily find and apply for jobs on people per hour it should not be a difficult task if you'd like to see me make another video about freelancing leave me a comment and i'll do exactly that like this video subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and guys, I'll see you on another video. Bye.